Well, greetings, guys. Welcome to Life Nuggets number 110. That's right, 110. 110 nuggets. Amen. Hallelujah. Just back from a six day vacation. And uh, we, me and Sherry, had a blast. We went to uh, Panama City a couple of days and rode to Orlando and had a stayed in a nice place and went to Cocoa Beach a couple of days which is only an hour away. If you've never done anything like that, uh, Orlando's a really good central location and you get to the beach in an hour, really or so, either way, Atlantic or Gulf. And uh, it's a good place to hang out, plenty of things to do. But anyway, and we have to do that two or three times a year. So, you know, it's just uh, something we like. And for years and years and years, we just did church, went to work, and finally, we said, you know, we have got to get away some. And some of you guys need to as well. And you get back, and I really use the time as kind of like a retreat. And just uh, read every morning, pray. She reads a lot. And we go out and have some fun and just kind of let everything go for a few days. So anyway, that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Can I get an amen? But what I want to talk to you about for just a few minutes is the blessing, the blessing, say the blessing, the blessing of the Lord. Now, uh, the blessing of the Lord through Abraham in Galatians 3 is the promise of the Spirit. And of course, we're blessed along as children of Abraham. We have, through the Lord Jesus Christ, the blessing, which is the promised Holy Spirit. And uh, when we come to Christ, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell in us. Amen. And we have God's favor. We have God's grace. We have the blessing. Say, I'm blessed. Amen. Now, Proverbs 10.22 says this. <clears throat> and I want to uh, go over two or three different translations of it. The first thing, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. One translation says, and he adds no trouble to it. My friends, there is so much trouble in the world today. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, many are the troubles, but the, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. And you know, I remember back in the day, and I heard this when I was on the beach this past week, uh, is the Bob Marley song, There's So Much Trouble in the World. I used to have that album way back in the day. And there is so much, I looked on the news today, and there are people rioting, you know, demonstrating in Hamburg, Germany. They're, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they're anti-capitalist. Those that don't have the blessing, amen. And it's amazing to me how uh, people that aren't blessed will do anything to try to get the blessing. My friends, the only way to get the blessing is through the Lord Jesus Christ in receiving the Holy Spirit. For the Bible says the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. It brings success. It brings favor. It brings grace. It brings God's goodness. It brings God's wisdom. It brings God's insight. It brings the blessing and it adds no trouble to it, okay? So there are troubles in the world, and many of us today are, are experiencing trouble. And it's not the devil's fault. It's not even the world's fault. It's not your mama's fault. As we look around, the troubles we experience a lot of times are things that we have done to ourselves, or decisions that we have made. I think it was James Cleveland, the old gospel singer, said, I tried to find the enemy, and to come to find out the enemy was me. And that's what I found out, my friends, about 26 years ago. And it still rings true today uh, that I'm in the trouble I'm in because of the decisions I've made. But, everybody say, but, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth, and he adds no trouble to it. Now, secondly, one, another translation says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth, and he adds no sorrow to it. Now, the Lord does not bring sorrow in, in the world, amen, because of, the, uh, the, because of sin, because of this sin-cursed world. Sorrow comes into the world. 
Sometimes sorrow comes into our life. But the blessing, say the blessing, the, the blessing of the Lord brings not only wealth, it brings comfort when we have sorrow. Can I get an amen? The Holy Spirit comes to comfort. We might even receive a prophetic word out of 1 Corinthians 14, 3 that edifies us and builds us up and consoles us and comforts us. Can I get an amen? Amen. I love to give people words and scriptures. Amen. I know sometimes, uh, you know, you're in a church service, you're in a prayer meeting, you're riding down the road and all of a sudden a word will come to you and you'll think, you know, that person needs comfort and the Lord speaks a word to you. You call them up or you text them and then they say, hey, that's exactly what I needed to comfort me. You see, my friends, that's the blessing of the Lord. And it, he adds no sorrow to the blessing of the Lord. He adds no uh, uh, sorrow to it, no trouble to it. And the blessing of the Lord in the NIV version says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil. You see, my friends, the blessing of the Lord will get you in the flow of the Lord and things begin to happen in your life. Blessings begin to flow. Doors begin to open. Sales begin to come. Uh, the things begin to happen. Amen. Hallelujah. The parking place opens up. Uh, in, in, our, in our immature faith, you know, we praise God because a parking space got open. You know, I do sometimes. Glory! That's, that's the blessing. Amen. But no, that's not necessarily the blessing. Amen. We'll take it. Can I get an amen? So the blessing of the Lord comes without painful toil. You know, sometimes we strive. Many of you are striving. Sometimes I strive to make things happen or, or to get that door open or to get that thing fixed or to get that thing done. And we're, we're like the, the, the disciples in the water. We're toiling all night. We're working all night and there's no fruit. There's no fish that's been caught. Nothing with all our painful toil. And the Lord comes to us, the blessing comes to us and says, cast your net on the other side. Call that guy up, you know. Go over here and do this. I remember driving down the road one Friday as I was making my first CD, about to get it printed up. It was going to be $1,200. And I'm driving, I'm, 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 it's Friday afternoon, I'm kind of tired. And I think, I'm just going to go home and chill. The Lord says, take a right. Go to this place that I was going to go to. I went and I met some people and met somebody who began to partner with me in ministry. Amen. And uh, now I'm on CD number three. Can I get an amen about finished with it? And there are people that God will bring you. Uh, I remember sitting at my other job I had for 20 years. One day I got a phone call from where I'm working now. And uh, known the fella all his life. Hey, Don, woo, what's up? Anyway, he says, meet me, meet me on that Taco Bell. Uh, I worked on Valley Avenue. Went over there. He laid out some stuff for me. I prayed about it. Boom, came over here 10 years ago. Little did I know that in 08, the, the bottom was going to fall out. If I'd have stayed in that business, I, we would have probably... You know, we'd, we'd have probably been in the unemployment bureau, amen. But as it was, just got blessed. My friends, that's the blessing of the Lord. I had no idea. Can you get an amen? And God moves in our life. For the blessing of the Lord brings wealth, brings success, amen. And he adds no trouble and no sorrow to it. And it comes without painful toil on our part. We simply receive the Lord Jesus Christ. We simply receive and have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Get the word in, amen, and let the Holy Spirit lead us. Because the Holy Spirit is the blessing of the Lord. Can I get an amen? So let me read Galatians 3 for you just for a minute. Amen. The bless. Say the blessing. Say, I've got the blessing of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you know, I, I was thinking too, you know, we're a lot of us are tall. We're holding on to things. We got to let those things go. Hey, Jerry, what's up? Hey, Brenda, what's up? 
You know, we're holding on to old positions. We're holding on to old relationships. We're holding on to addictions. We're holding on to things that we thought we had to have. And I'm telling you right now, this came to me as I was thinking about this. We need to let them go because the blessing of the Lord comes without painful toil. And if the Lord has blessed you with it, you won't have any sorrow to it. Can I get an amen? Now, we can turn it into a bad thing, amen, but it won't be from the Lord. So listen to this, Galatians, amen, so you'll know I'm right on time. Hallelujah, glory to God. Just give them a 10-second praise break. We worship you, Lord. We thank you. for Lord, I pray for the blessing upon those watching right now and the blessing of those who will watch this and who will watch it on the YouTube channel. And Lord, just bless them. Bless. Say, I receive the blessing of the Lord. Amen. So Galatians 3.10 says this, For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. That's that painful toil. As it's written, cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law. Clearly, no one relies on the law or works is justified because the righteous will live by faith, right? Now, listen to this. Christ redeemed us from the curse or the works of the law by becoming a curse for us. Verse 14, he redeemed us in order, watch this now, that the blessing given to Abraham might come to us through Christ Jesus so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. The blessing given was, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit, Christ in us. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. The realization of the glory. So when you see on the news... When you see others, and you know what, and they're, they're, they're trying to get the blessing. They're trying to get the blessing. They're, they, they're doing everything they can to get the blessing. You just stop, and you can see. You can see it. You can see it. And you just say, I'm glad I've got the blessing. Let me tell you how to get this blessing. You're in trouble. You're in sorrow. You're painfully toiling. You come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Surrender to win. And the blessing comes into your life. The blessing comes upon your life. Amen. And your life will never be the same. I'm privileged because I got the blessing. And you do too if you follow Jesus Christ. And there's only one way to get it. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Can I get an amen? So today I bless you. May you be blessed coming in and going out. May you be kept in safety wherever you go. May everything you touch prosper. And may the remember this, that the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. And he adds no trouble. He adds no sorrow to it. Can I get an amen? God bless you. And I'll see you next time on. You got it, baby. Life nuggets. Boom. Peace.